this is Kate Mahoney. I am the lead artist for City of Studio and I will show you how to make your own stop motion film on your mobile phone. You will need to be able to control your lighting so it is easier to film inside using a light source you can control such as a lamp. You will need to keep your phone or camera steady throughout filming so you will need a tripod with a mono grip for your phone or you can use some books to balance your phone and then you will need to go around your house and find some objects you can animate. The app I'll be using is called Stop Motion Studio. It is a free app and available on both Apple and Android phones. Once you open the app, select a new movie and you will see your setup. I have chosen the floor of my living room. You can select a grid to help your composition and above the red button you can select a timer to choose how long you will need in between shots. So I've chosen 20 seconds in between. So when I press the red button you can see that the 20 second timer is running and it beeps to warn you when the photo will be taken. And once it is taken you then move your object again and you will see there is an onion skin of where the object was and this will help your object stay in line and stay in quite, a, quite staggered mechanical movement. I have sped up the video a bit here to give you an idea of how my video progressed. So stop animation works by taking individual frames and when they all come together it gives the idea that the objects are moving. There are lots of different types of stop animation such as claymation that can be seen in Wallace and Gromit to pixelation where you animate people. I will be using objects and some cut out paper letters so this is called object motion. Another tip would be to make sure in the settings that you shoot manually. In the app you just press off the auto button. This also should help you not get such a flicker effect. If you make any mistakes, such as getting your hands or feet captured in the shot, you can pause at any time and see where you are scrolling backwards and forwards and review and delete frames to tidy your final film. Once you are happy with your film, you can choose what frame rate you want to view it. Most videos work at 30 frames per second, so a 10 second stop animation video would be about 300 frames. So you might not want to take that many frames. And also, to get a more jittery and mechanical effect, you'd want to play it back at 5, 6 or 7 frames per second. Once you are happy with your film, you are given lots of options. You can add voiceover or sounds, add images, audio or credits, explore the settings. You can also capture more stills, undo anything you are not happy with um, and replay your final film. You also get the option to add in some fun filters. I have added some binoculars here. I hope you enjoy making your film and hashtag Bonnet Oxford so we can see your moving image creations. Bye!